Thomas Joy. Today I'm going to be talking about doctor's appointments. Now I'm not talking about when you need to go to the doctor because you got a sniffle or the flu. I'm talking about regular once a yearly checkups that you should be booking in your diary to make sure that you have scheduled every year to make sure you're all okay. I'm a firm believer in we must rather know what's going on in our body sooner rather than later. So I believe in making sure I have all my doctor's appointments scheduled. What I do is every January I sit down in the first week that I'm back at work because it's generally pretty quiet and I phone all the doctors and I book my appointments. There's one appointment that I always book for every August and every January when I phone, the lady at the, at the reception always laughs and says, Oh, Joy, you're booking your appointment for the year in August. <laughs> but at least I know it's done and I have them all scheduled. So what I've done is I've created you a list of all the doctor's appointments, the regulars that you should have. Print it out and make sure you book. You've got six months left of the year, so you can still get them all in if you haven't done any of them for this year. And then every January, you make sure you do them. So what are those appointments that you need? Number one, any lady needs her gynae check. That's once a year if you're not having babies, because that obviously changes everything. But if you're just being normal lady every year, you have to go to the gynae once a year. Then if you're lucky enough to have hit 40, like me, you have to factor in a mammogram and a bone density test. Now those are only done every two years and your gynae will probably subscribe, that, subscribe you to go to one of the radiologists in town. But that is an important thing to do. You want to be checking that out every two years. Bones are very important and we don't want to be getting breast cancer. The next one is your dentist. Now you should go to the dentist twice a year, every six months. He just needs to check out that nothing's going funny or rotten or ugly. Once a year, he'll take x-rays for you to check there's nothing even more hidden than what you may have thought, but that's a good thing to do. Another one is the dermatologist. The dermatologist needs to check out that all your moles, and we do live in South Africa, sunny, sunny South Africa, and we probably spend most of our childhood swimming in the sun with very little sunscreen on. You need to check that none of those moles are going nasty, so you must go. Once you've got into a regular routine with a dermatologist, She'll tell you when you need to come back next. My last appointment that was this year, she said she only needed to see me again in 18 months. Then I don't wear glasses, not yet anyway, but an optometrist I would imagine is an important person to go see once a year. So I would imagine it's once a year. I think it's once a year, but you would know if you wear glasses. So those are very important doctor's appointments to have. Then I belong to Discovery Health. And for my vitality points, there's regular checks you have to have as well. And by doing those, I earn more points, which gives me discounts and a whole lot of stuff. So I make sure I do them. There's a normal um, health check-in that you can do at the Dischem um, nurses. Or if, you're, if your company is big enough, the Discovery people come to your office for the whole day. Another one is a biokineticist. They have to check your fitness. And then the third one is a nutritionist. To check how, how you eat and what you eat and if it's okay. But once you've done those, it's great. You earn some great points. Now, I have contacts for you if you do want them here in Johannesburg. If you're watching from afar, I'm sure you have your people already. Download my list at organizedjoy.co.za in the download section. And you'll see the whole list of, of the doctors that you need to get onto and get seen. But here's to be healthy. So thanks very much for joining me at Organized Joy. Go and book your doctor's appointments. And don't forget to hit subscribe below. Bye.